Welcome back, comrades. This is episode 11, and it's a special one because I will talk about cranes and uh, my endeavor to understanding them. And it will be fun or not fun, it's a weird topic. So <laughs> let's get into it. The background is one of uh, my uh, viewers commented in the second episode. It was Svavomir Kaisel. I'm sorry for butchering your name if it's so uh, done my best. Um, comrade Svavomir posted that the, the speed level of the crane is determined by a different mechanic than I thought, and it caught me off guard. So um, I had to investigate the issue, and I made two videos to investigate it, and now the third one where I will try to put it all together and explain it for you. Um, this, the speed level of the crane means that this is the number of workers the crane supports and the number of workers he supports he speeds up by the factor of 5.5. So every worker does 5.5 times its worker count in uh, work days on the construction site. So if you have 10 workers at the construction site you uh, effectively do 55 work days uh, in game day on a construction site. If you have 20 workers at the construction site and a crane, you will do uh, 110 work days, uh, one in game day. So it's quite fast. And the interesting thing is, it is not, it does not depend on the crane you have on the site. As long as you have one crane, it supports its uh, workers at the speed level. But uh, biggest crane is not faster than the smallest crane if you have only let's say 20 workers at the construction site and they're all the same speed and uh, this is the first video i made you see it here in the background the video shows uh, how i set up two construction sites and two electrical wires one was a v3s crane a road crane which has a speed level of 23 And one was the uh, uh, fastest tower crane you can buy in 1960. This is the A2, which has a speed level of 65, I think. Yeah, somewhere around above 60. And um, I deliver people to the construction site with minibuses. And the construction site has at tops 14 people and one minibus is driving here and there. And um, the re result is exactly what the viewer predicted. So um, they are both the same speed and I made the whole video, uh, it's not commented so you can see yourself <laughs> because if you don't see it you say I'm crazy. Before that I always uh, bought the biggest tower crane and thought okay this is the fastest fastest one. Um, yeah here you see it, they finish the same time and they are different cranes and should be in the usual different speed levels and you would think okay the tower crane is faster. No, no. The road crane is the same speed if you have uh, under 23 workers. They are exactly the same. So because of this I make this second video which you can see now. And in the second video there is um, displayed I wanted to go a little bit uh, deeper into the, into the thing and wanted to know how the cranes are stacking. So if you have For example, one 3VS crane and two 3VS cranes, what they do, how they behave. And I've tested several scenarios with little people and with much, much people, um, the numbers all add up, more or less. Um, and the resolution of this one is that if you uh, have a construction site with 20 people, you can buy the smallest road crane and be perfectly happy and quite fast. So it's not super slow. Um, If you have 20 people on the side, have the smallest ward crane, you will uh, crank over 100 workdays uh, in game day. So, for example, this building uh, has, uh, for the last stage, I'm talking only of the last stage, um, does uh, need over f a little bit over 500 workdays, and um, the, it takes only five in game days to finish it with the smallest uh, ward crane. If you want to scale it up, if you want to make it faster, get a tower crane and deliver, let's say, 60 people to the construction site, then the building takes less than two in-game days. 
But I usually go the other road and I will explain how and why in the next part of the video, so <laughs> stay tuned. Okay, so here we are at my uh, test construction site, which <laughs> only is there to deliver some people and uh, let the test run in the second video you see it. Pardon me. Yeah. I want to set up the construction offices like I do, a little demonstration and we make a little test build of uh, this tower block. So the, these ones are fairly standard. So I would uh, buy, for example, three excavators for the ground stage or four, one, two, three, four. Um, buy four dumpers, also ground stage, one, two, three, four. And um, I buy four open walls here. Usually I have the modded construction office with 30, 34, 32, <laughs> 32 uh, places. So I go always uh, with the delivery trucks one to one to one. So uh, for example, for dumpers, for concrete mixers and for open walls and so on and so forth. So you, the, you will never hit, hit the golden ratio of what is the best thing because the uh, what they need on the construction site can vary some constructions need more um, concrete other constructions need more bricks or prefab panels so this one varies and what you also need is a cover hole uh, for mechanical components and stuff so this is this is everything what is needed for the first stage, uh, the ground laying stage and uh, the finishing of the ground laying stage. And uh, usually I would go, uh, for example, here or there for four tower cranes in the past and have four tower cranes at the construction site and was very happy because uh, tower cranes are very fast, right? No, wrong. <laughs> More tower cranes on the construction site give you diddly if you don't provide it with workers. So. Uh, for example, if you have uh, four tower cranes in the uh, construction, you need uh, four times the speed level of workers to make use of them. If you only deliver 20 workers and have four tower cranes, they do nothing for you. They are the same as speed as a road crane. So let's put one of my standard construction crews together, the new style. Mm. I would buy uh, buses and I will go for the smallest buses for the micro buses or for buses which take 20 people um, this series is all about vanilla so we go vanilla uh, three micro buses and one crane it's perfectly enough for one construction crew which you manually assign to the building which you see is ready so let's go let's go here and we can choose either to buy this one or this one i go with the v3s because it's the um, cheapest and smallest one and it is enough because I don't plan to deliver not uh, more than 20 people to the construction site. So this is the crew for finishing up the building and let me demonstrate how it works. So I copy here the building um, and place it here. I think it's on auto build, yes. So stop and start. So if we start it now, the construction officer should get the call. So these two are on auto search and do as they please. This one is not an auto search because my, for example, my source of workers is always restricted and I want to have, I want to finish a building fast, which means that uh, I wait until the, the first two construction officers have done their work, have uh, done their groundwork and deliver all the materials and after that I send the people and the crane in and they do a fast job of delivering to people. You can leave this one on auto search. It should also work. I haven't checked it because in the patch notes they said that now uh, the game do, does the same thing I do manually but uh, yeah <laughs> maybe you don't trust the game. I, I, I'm I doing better at not trusting the game and trusting myself. So. This would be the new setup. Have general construction offices and small road crews where I assign them to one one construction site which I want to have finished. Let's go on double speed. Okay. So now they uh, provide the material for the groundwork which is 
in most cases uh, concrete gravel and um, asphalt and it needs work stays and it has a place for a mechanic in most most situations this is the case when you have monuments not so much but uh, as I would say 90 percent of the other buildings uh, it is always the same because I don't provide people I'm only rely here on the uh, mechanic which the mechanization which is coming here the excavator and he does his job he has a speed factor around 20 or 30 I think 33 so uh, a couple of days and he's done here and I don't need to block my uh, valuable workers because if I pull out the workers from uh, from my bus station they will not go to work in my fabrics uh, in my factories so uh, I make less money it's a cost and I always plan my cities according to my factories and I don't want to pull out massive amounts of workers because everything else will suffer. So this is why the minibuses and um, the goal is to have always uh, a constant but a very little amount of workers on the construction site. In the past I tried to compensate this with a massive amount of cranes but <laughs> as the test shows if more cranes uh, does not help more. They simply uh, move around but do nothing <laughs> for you. The more cranes are only helping more if you have massive amounts of workers on the side. Um, for example, this side, you will see it in a minute if the excavator is finishes the job. This side allows five cranes, but it only allows 75 workers. So one A2 crane with a speed level of 65, let's say, uh, nearly speeds up all the workers you can deliver here so you cannot you will not profit from two a2 cranes you will profit from several uh, v3s cranes if you want to max out so uh, get here uh, three v3s cranes they will stack up and they will speed up 75 workers and then you build this um, this house in two days in game but uh, for me i don't need the speed uh, i think um it is fast enough with the smallest train and 20 workers on site. So let's make the calculation. If you have 20 workers on the site and the crane supports 23 workers, he will speed up all my 20 workers. They make every in-game day. They pr produce 110 work days. And for the last stage, you need a little bit over 500 work days. So the building is finished in five days, mm. which is quite fast. And what I do by uh, saying manually, I always uh, build several buildings and uh, let them do the groundwork and I, uh, my general construction officers are not disturbed. They do their job and uh, I simply check the buildings and wait until they are ready to go. And what I mean by ready to go, we will see shortly. Now we are in the next stage and you see here the uh, three three slots for uh, mechanizations in this case cranes as i said you will not profit from more cranes they will not do more if you don't balance them with the workers so always balance the speed level of the crane with the amount of workers you plan to put in if you are like me and say okay i want to have a small amount of workers because i don't want to steal my workforce then go with a small crane uh, road crane drives himself to the side. It's nice and fast. It's always free if you rely on flatbeds. You either have a dedicated flatbed for the uh, cranes, for the tower cranes, or you uh, share your flatbeds between the flatbeds which are here carrying my prefab panels and my steel. So I also uh, need to have more vehicles on site. Mm, and it's nice because you can set up a working crew with four vehicles, so three buses and uh, one crane should be fine if the uh, construction site is not in, on the other side of the world if you have very long distances to go you need to balance your workers against your crane and against your buses and so on and so forth you can also artificially limit here the number of workers which the ceo will send the construction office will send here so if you say okay i only want to have 20 workers even if you have big buses or many buses it will send 20 bus 20 workers and you balance it against the uh, crane or the v3s for example uh, and you're also fine you can uh, push in more workers then you have crane support so for example have a v3s here uh, loaded up with 75 workers only the first 20 will 23 
will be sped up by 5.5, which is a massive amount of numbers. Um, and the rest of the 50 workers will do the work, but they are not speeded up, so you lose, so to speak, efficiency. Okay, now we are at the stage where I would say this is ready to go. So uh, everything is delivered and uh, my workers and my crane can work as fast as they can go. So I have here my working crew, uh, my my people crew. <laughs> I will assign here this bus station so they get workers. If you are on the la latest branch in realistic mode, you can get workers from the border or from your people. And you see they move out and the crane gets the call because he knows, okay, uh, workers are coming. Before, uh, if there are no workers on site and no workers are coming, the crane also will not move out. It only moves out if workers are coming. So you can put the crane in the general office. He will not move out until you assign workers to it. So you are a little bit free. But the problem is if you put the crane... Oh, let's stop. Um, let's see the speed. Um, and go on normal speed. So if you put the cranes here, many many road cranes here, um, you have the downside that uh, maybe the construction office will send five cranes here and you have no benefit from it if you don't provide many workers. And this is for me the balance approach I want to go. So now I have um, here, let's say, 14 workers at the place. It will go up to maybe, let's say, 20 or let's see. the Mini buses are fast, and I think they will shovel in uh, with a nice speed. Okay, I have 14 workers. Uh, now I have 21, which is optimal. So um, all the workers are sped up by the uh, road crane, and uh, this one makes 100 work days in game day. So uh, to finish this building, I need in game four days. Which is super fast. And uh, you would expect this from the little small diddly road crane. But he does the work because it's <laughs> it's the logic of the game. Don't ask me. I assumed otherwise. I assumed the speed level somehow are equal to work, work days. But no. No. If I would have here the fastest tower crane, it would make no difference. Only if I go above here. So... Fastest tower crane will speed up 28 workers, all the workers on site. This one only speeds up 23 workers, but it's fast enough anyway. Oh, I haven't. I have bought the T138. Oh, okay, not the V3S, because I was talking about the V3S because it's the uh, smallest one, but the T138 is also not. It's in the same ballpark. The early road cranes are all around the level 20 or 30. More around the level 30. So you see how fast it goes. Uh, we are also we have already cracked half of the construction, and for me it's super fast. It's fast enough, and this is how I will roll. So having uh, general offices with auto search and having dedicated offices with uh, people. Let's go here. So I will show an alternative to one with a little uh, minibus crew or have buses which provide 20 workers, for example. If you go longer distances, you maybe need to balance this. And a uh, small road crane and it it goes very fast. If you want to go even faster and don't want to spend hilarious amounts of uh, of of resources and money, I would say you do this one. You go for bus, you go for the biggest bus you have. So now the calculation is, let's discord a SKD one. So go uh, three SKD ones. So they are always rotating between the construction site and the bus stop and uh, go for the tower crane setup. So see here the tower crane, the bespoken A2 tower crane. We buy him and we also need a flatbed. So you see the operation gets bigger. But this is the alternative if you go on maximum speed. So they would pull up here. 
Let's go on pause. They will pull up 75 workers from the bus up, deliver maximum workers, have a crane which supports them all. And then this building will be uh, set up in two days, less than two days. I have uh, linked my two videos. And in the second video, this is also shown how long it takes under what which, con which conditions, which I here say. But you see the, the building is already finished. And it's so fast because all the construction materials are uh, pretty pretty delivered and I only deliver the people if everything is there for the next stage. It can be that there, after this there's a finishing stage or uh, a roof laying stage or something which you cannot avoid to have but um, this this is really a fast process which uh, you can copy for whole construction sites, uh, factories, mostly the same. Some like I said uh, have no ground stage or always need workers. But uh, this is a very, very uh, universally uh, good setup, I think. This is one. It's not. Uh, it's not heavy on resources. It does not cost the arm and the leg, and it does not pull out unnecessary big amounts of workers from your workforce, because they have to do other interest, important things like earning you money, comrade. Okay. So I hope the point is clear. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my uh, series where I start with have a cosmonaut start with no mods, no oil, no loans, and uh, it will continue. And I'm happy to make the next video for you guys. Um, the only thing I would ask for is if you enjoy the videos, uh, please leave a like to motivate me to make more content and uh, produce m more stuff on YouTube because it's also it is some work. Uh, you need to put in to uh, pull out these videos yeah so i thank you you thank me we are all happy <laughs> have a nice day bye